His name was called Jesus, that is, Savior. With good reason he did receive this name, for on this day he first shed his blood, which was to be completely drained from his sacred body on Calvary. On that occasion he was fulfilled with the prophecy of the psalmist, with him there is plentiful redemption. If the patriarch Joseph and some others be styled saviors in holy writ because they delivered the people from famine or temporal death, with how much more reason does this title belong to Christ, who has done all that was necessary on his part to deliver the whole world from everlasting death? He shall save his people from their sins. This Savior will visit you today in the Holy Eucharist to save your soul out of distress, to deliver you from spiritual enemies, and to give you strength and courage to surmount every obstacle to salvation. He will purify you with his sacred blood, which he shed this day. But you must cooperate with his holy designs, for he will not bestow his blessing on unwilling souls. This day has put a termination to the year which you have spent. It cannot return. It is buried in the gulf of eternity. What satisfaction do the misdeeds of the past year now afford you? If you had the year to spend again, how many actions would you omit which you have done? And how many things would you do which you have omitted to do? While you have, as yet, time, redeem the lost moments. Spend the ensuing year as you would wish the past to have been spent, and offer the resolution of doing so to your Lord in the sacrament as the best present you can make Him on this holy day. You ought to prepare your soul armed with this resolution for His coming. You can never keep it without humility, for as the prophet says, He will save the humble of spirit. Everything connected with the mysteries of the Incarnation and Nativity ought to inspire a love of that virtue and induce you to practice it.